Hey everyone, Silent here. Welcome back to another Villager Breeder tutorial. I just designed this one. It is brand new and it is very efficient. You can see we got a baby in there. We got like four down there. We even got two already grown up. I've been here for like half an hour. And yeah, see, there you go. He fell down. So it is clog proof. You will only ever have two villagers in here. I'll talk more about that later. It's an infinite villager breeder, meaning it will go on forever as long as you don't hit the cap. I'll talk about that later as well. And also, you don't have to supply them with any food at all. As you can see, they harvest it and they plant it back on their own. So you don't have to hook up any clocks to like dispense potatoes to them or something like other breeders, which is kind of a pain. And also, there is an off switch. So if you don't want any more villagers, bam, hit the switch and then they'll all start to die. And that's kind of weird that they pop up. Anyway, so let's get on to the tutorial and then I'll talk about troubleshooting this thing and why it may not be working for you. And then I will talk about villagers on console. So let's get to it. So everything that you will need to build this thing are in this shulker box here. Uh, please keep in mind that these are not exact quantities at all. And also that glass can be replaced with any block of your choice. So stone bricks, wood, dirt, I don't know, whatever you feel like. Also, you'll need an infinite water source. Uh, these sea lanterns can be replaced with any light emitting block. So torches, jack-o'-lanterns, glowstone. Uh, redstone lamps anything like that and also you'll need at least two villagers to get this started But preferably you would have three the first thing that you need to look out for in your world when deciding where to build This is wooden doors. So we have our other villager breeder right over there You can probably just barely see it anyway that has wooden doors So we need to go at least 50 blocks away I'm gonna go about 60 and then we can start building it um, also watch out for secret bases and strongholds in your world because those may contain wooden doors. Wooden doors will mess up, mess this thing up really badly, so don't do it. Just beware of that. Trap doors and iron doors do not affect this at all. So the first thing that you need to do is dig out a 5x5 five five area. So there you go, that's a 5x5. Five five. And then you're just going to replace all of these blocks here with dirt. Okay, well that was pretty easy. Now all you need to do is dig down a two deep trench going all the way around this thing. And this is what's going to collect your baby villagers. Now you're going to want to decide where you want your villagers to be stored. So I'm going to have mine be over here, which means that in this corner, you're going to place a water source and then follow it. Once it gets to this ed edge over here, just remove all of these blocks, place one right there and then place one right there. That way they flush to this corner. Now all you need to do is place in some trap doors going along all of the edges of your breeder, flip them down. Baby villagers will think that they're full blocks and try to walk over them. But one thing you need to watch out for on the edges right here is make sure that you don't have any trap doors like this. Uh, villagers could get stuck on that and that would clog up your breeder. So place them like that. Here is what all the trapdoors should look like from above. Just copy that exactly and you will be fine. Now what you need to do is find the center block of your 5x5 of dirt. So that's our center block. And then you're going to go to the edges here. Place a water source right there. And place a water source right there. And then just till all of your dirt. Uh, the water source is on the edges. Make sure that makes it so that you have one extra dirt in here that is plantable and harvestable. And all of these will still be um, like watered farmland. Um, it's just a little bit more efficient. But if you don't want to have the water sources on the edge, all you need to do is place in a water source right there. And then just place a carpet above that water source like so. Do not place a lily pad. That will not work. But for the purpose of the tutorial, we're just going to leave it dirt and till it like that. And then you're just going to plant in all of your potatoes so that they can harvest it. Do not use wheat or beets for their food. Use either potatoes or carrots. If you ever decide to build some sort of villager farm where they automatically harvest crops, you will thank me that I told you to use potatoes or carrots. Do not use wheat or beetroots, please. <laughs> anyway, now all you need to do is come over here and just dig down, dig out two blocks and then remove this block. That should be the surface layer right there. And it is. Place a slab right here. Place a sign right here, place a water source right there, and then replace this block right here with a slab. And that is your pickup system. 
Now place a, a sign right there and then you can start placing in all of your walls. To place in your walls, all you need to do is make a too high border of glass going all the way around this thing. Do not skip the corners, don't do that because zombies can reach through that gap and kill your villagers. So make sure that you fill in all of the corners. There you go, now all the walls are in. What you need to do is place a ring of blocks along the inside. Make sure that these ones are some form of transparent blocks such as stairs or slabs or glass. And that makes it so that the adult villagers cannot walk out of here in any direction. Only the babies can uh, fit underneath that block and fall down into the water streams. Now just place a roof on top of this thing. All that is is a 5x5 five five of blocks um, right above it like so and then I just place in my light emitting blocks in the corners this will make it so that your crops can grow and that nothing spawns up here even though it is glass if you're not using glass you're gonna want to put some lights up here so that no zombies spawn so let's finish up the water system all you need to do here is place in a water source right there a sign above it and then you can make this uh, water area take them to wherever a fenced in area or a minecart pickup station um really those things are pretty simple so I'll, i'm just gonna finish it off with a cap right here like so and then make sure that if you do finish it off like i am make sure that they have room to breathe and there you go you pretty much finished your breeder all you need to do now is add in the village so about right here this is the center of your farm dig down by seven blocks one two three four five six and seven and do that on these three blocks as well and then you're going to dig out a small uh, three by three area down here and just place in any kind of wooden door that you like i'm just going to use oak because why not and then you're also going to want to place some form of lighting down here as well just to make sure that nothing bad spawns down here and then you place a villager down here really any villager will do it doesn't matter if they have good trades what type of villager they are um, just any villager down there and one final note for the village down there is make sure that you have direct sky access you don't want any blocks like that blocking the sky access because that would actually prevent your villagers up here from breeding so make sure that you just place in glass and have direct sky access and sunlight access before I forget, if you want to start this breeder off with two villagers, all you need to do is put them both down here and then provide them with food yourself. Just throw them a couple stacks of potatoes, they'll start to breed eventually. And then once you get a third villager, put the two up here and just leave the one down there. And it's really that simple. Also, if you want this thing to drop off into like an area, then this is all you need to do to the water. There's a sign right there to stop the water. As soon as they grow up, they'll fall into this area, kind of like a... Uh, this weaponsmith did really simple stuff and if you would like to have an automatic pickup system using minecarts it does get a little bit more complicated uh, the lime blocks here are the new blocks that you need so basically you need to push them into the corner using a couple of water sources and then I have an automatic uh, minecart dispensing system which we will simulate by pressing that button So basically once they leave they'll dispense a new minecart and voila uh, you don't need any of this stuff if you don't want an automatic system. You just need this, and then whenever you want a villager, or there's a villager in there, place a minecart, and they'll hop right in. It is really that simple. Sorry, guy. Now the final step is to just get in two villagers in here. All you need is a farmer or something that harvests crops, so that's like a farmer, a fisherman, a fletcher, something like that, and one other villager. There we go. We got two villagers in here. We got a librarian and we just so happen to get a farmer. So all you need in here is a farmer or a fletcher or a fisherman. Just something that harvests crops. And now to kick start this thing, I'm going to give the farmer four stacks of potatoes. You'll see that he's picking those up there. And I'm going to give this librarian also four stacks of potatoes. Um, if you're using carrots in here as your crop, then use carrots to throw to them. Um, don't mix in. Don't mix crops. Don't have carrots and potatoes in here. Just use one. Um, and there you go. This thing should start breeding 
and that is pretty much everything now let's head over to troubleshooting and then i'll cover villagers on console and there we go it's already starting to work perfect you can see the love hearts as soon as you get love hearts then it's working and we already got a cleric see as soon as they actually start to move um then it will be fully functional anyway as for troubleshooting if your villager breeder is not working then chances are you killed a villager somewhere or your villager score um is not high enough so all you need to do for that is trade with the villagers um it doesn't matter which trade you do with them like this guy wants some potatoes give him some potatoes i would say trade at least 15 times with these guys and also trade with the one down below um yeah that, that's pretty much all there is for troubleshooting also if it's still not breeding then i would suggest doing a full search of doors around the area and there we go search is done there's actually there's absolutely nothing around us um also this one is functional but anyway in your world it's gonna take a lot longer um just go around and look for any houses any doors if there are any doors just replace them with iron doors um they will only detect wooden doors they don't de detect trap doors and they don't detect iron doors only wooden doors and if it's still not breeding then give them some more food or bone meal some of the crops in here um if they're not harvesting the crops then they already have enough and they don't need more and that's all there is to it one final small note for console users if you have more than 40 villagers in the area then this thing will not breed that is completely normal for console users i will have a video coming out soon on how to get around the villager cap um, if you have more than 40 villagers in your area then you're going to need to uh, cure your villagers by having a zombie spawner getting zombie villagers and then curing them using the golden apples and the weakness potions which takes a while and is really a pain and is expensive but video coming out soon on how to get around the breeding limit anyway that is going to do it for this video everybody i hope you did enjoy it um, leave a like if you did enjoy, share the video if you found it useful, and subscribe if you are new. I've done a few Villager Breeder uh, tutorials before. This is the original one, the Super Micro one. It's just a bit slow, and it needed a few improvements, um, even though it's the improved Villager Breeder. This is the old Impulse SV design, and it gets clogged up all the time. Anyway, that's going to do it for this vlog.